like somebody does something good, you landmark it and say, good job, you know? You know, I wish I could, on days that I'm being really hard on myself, I could be like, look, I just pooped in the toilet. <laughs> I fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this poem is this poem is ancient. I wrote this um, a long time ago. I've since changed the the. It was originally written in a different way, and I, I'll 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 talk about why I changed it at the end of the poem. But um, this came from uh, that teaching experience. <clears throat> Are you a boy or a girl? He asks. Staring up from the all three feet of his pudding face grandeur, and I say, Dylan, you've been in this class. Dylan was the one who actually handed me the poop. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes sense that I would say, Dylan, you've been in this class for three years, and you still don't know if I'm a boy or a girl? <laughs> uh uh. Well, then at this point, I really don't think it matters. Do you? Um, no. Can I have a push on the swing? And this happens every day. It's a of kindergarten curiosity rushing straight for the rocks of me, whatever I am. In the classroom, we discuss the Milky Way galaxy, the orbit of the sun around the Earth, or whatever, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and kids, do you know that some of the stars we see when we look up in the sky are so far away they've already burned out? What do you think of that? Timmy, uh, my mom says that even though you got hairs that grow from your legs and that there are hairs on your head grow short and pokey and that you smell really bad like my dad, that you're a girl. <laughs> Thank you, Timmy. <laughs> so it goes. On the playground, she peers up from behind her pink powder puff sunglasses and asks, do you have a boyfriend? And I say, no. And she says, oh, do you have a girlfriend? And I say, no. But if by some miracle 20 years from now I ever finally do, then I'll definitely bring her by to meet you. How's that? Okay, can I have a push on the swing? And that's the thing. They don't care. They don't care. Us, on the other hand. My father, sitting across the table at Christmas dinner, gritting his teeth over his still full plate, his appetite ripped away by the intrusion of my haircut. What were you thinking? You used to be such a pretty girl. College boys, drunk and screaming, leaning out the window of their daddy's SUVs. Hey, are you a faggot or a dyke? And I wonder what would happen if I met up with them in the middle of the night. Then, of course, there's always a somehow not quite bright enough fluorescent light of the public restroom. Sir, sir, do you realize this is the ladies' room? Yes, ma'am, I do. It's just I didn't feel comfortable sticking this tampon at my penis in the men's room. <laughs> but the best are always the parents at the market. The mother sticking up her nose or the father pushes aside his child's wide eyes, whispering, don't stare. It's rude. And I want to say, listen, dude, the only rude thing I see is your paranoid parental hand pushing aside the best education on self that kid's ever gonna get the with your pinks and blues, your boy girl rules, so why don't you take your macho and shove it in that cart with your wife's fucking issue of Cosmo, because tomorrow I start my day with 28 minds that know a hell of a lot more than you. And if I show up in a pink frilly dress, those kids won't love me any more or less. Hey, are you a boy or a... Oh, never mind. Can I have a push on the swing? And someday, y'all, when we grow up, it's all gonna be that simple. Thank you.